Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by the support of Billy Dorfner. Thank you, sir.
Hey there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1913 hours on April 9th, 2019. And here's where we are today. I did a little bit on this wall with Liz and Steven. The three of us suffered a lot down here today, and it was lovely. And I got a lot done on this wall. Up here really sucks, because we're trying to keep water out of the well, so I'm gonna build a thing tonight. I'm gonna have a project with that, we're gonna figure that out. But look at all that, huge amounts of progress. The outer wall is really easy to do, like the paint comes off in sheets compared to the inner wall. And the reason why is a combination. This wall's had moisture exposure because this is an exterior wall. This has it, this is an interior wall. So this has gotten moisture from the inside, um, mainly through humid air. Um, the other thing on here is I think, tell me if I'm wrong, because I'm not 100%, but I think that concrete block is more porous than poured concrete. This wall is obviously poured. You can see the little metal bits and all that. So this is obviously poured up to that line where it's concrete block on top. But is this less porous than these? Because these, getting the paint off of these is just hell. And I've got a 4,000 PSI pressure washer, and it's a real one. It's, it's proper gas powered. It isn't one of those little toy electric ones that are 4,000 PSI. This, this stuff's hell. I'm just having a bitch of a time getting it off. But this, coming right off, no problem. Just in sheets, blasting it right off. If the whole room was this level of paint adhesion, we'd have been done three days ago. But we're getting there. And uh, tomorrow, realistically, I hope to do this wall and the last little bit of that. That's, that's my goal for tomorrow, is to get that and that. But on this project, we do it by time, not by area. So what gets done is what gets done. But we'll be starting this tomorrow, eh, a little afternoon, and going till eh, a little after two, and yeah. So that's what's going on in here. It's fucking thrilling to do. I hate this job. In here, in the AV room, you'll notice there's lovely conduit on three walls, no less. I got I got further than I thought I did because I worked later than I thought I would. I'm. It's nice working on your own house. I enjoy it. So I got. Two outlets on that wall, two outlets on that wall. There'll be two on that wall. There'll be a box there and a box there, and I'll probably put an outlet in each just because I'm nice. And we'll come up to a switch and then up to a box that'll take us off to the light. I'm gonna put two light boxes in the ceiling, and then we'll break off, head back, and catch the breaker box. So two circuits for the room, 120 amp down below, because they're never gonna need more than that in here. And if they do, I'll make it easy to patch a second in. And one high for lighting, which will be, uh, I'll probably do a lot of the basement lighting together, like just one circuit for half the basement lighting or something. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. It'll be okay. So that's the day. Thank you to those who tuned in live and even taught me some things, Mr. Cole. I appreciate that. So, yeah. And while all that's been going on, there's been a lasering. Laser, laser, laser. So, that's what's up. Me and my one weedly little battery, which is charging. Charging quietly. We'll be ready to go again tomorrow. <laughs> you guys have fun. See ya.